Look, Vim. Impala. Good. Well, I think we'll sit here for a couple of hours. Enjoy the company of these Impala. They don't run away. Now, these Impala are standing in a thicket. And Vim, what is the thicket predominantly made up of? And Strychnos, of course, our least favourite tree, or one of our least favourite trees, because it is horrible to try and drive off road around Strychnos bushes. And they are encroacher species. And almost never do you see animals eating them. But this time of the year, and especially with the drought, I've seen lots of animals eating them. We've seen buffalo chewing on them. Now we've got impala eating them. Plenty of the browsers, kudu and nyala. And while I don't think they're particularly toxic, they're definitely not the most nutritious of food. Or I mean, animals will avoid them quite often. And you can see, therefore, how a drought is going to affect the vegetation and it's going to affect the way that the vegetation kind of uh, survives the drought. In a normal year of uh, sort of standard-issue rainfall, uh, nothing would touch these strychnos trees, or very few. Maybe the elephants would bite them and push them over. That's why they're so scraggly. But now, they're providing a very valuable source of forage during the course of the drought, and that will inevitably change their shape. They will either sort of die back a bit, or the browsing will stimulate them, and they'll become much larger, and the thickets will get thicker. It's going to be quiet for 20 seconds and listen to the early morning sounds. So you can hear a forktail dronga in the background going, okay. It's a strange noise for it to be making. There it is. I actually think it's doing the call of, um, it's attempting to do a Franklin call. Look at that, it's head.